जेगुलर निकोल्स मेथड फॉर कंट्रोलर ट्यूनिंग कंट्रोलर ट्यूनिंग पार्ट वन जेगुलर निकोल्स अल्टीमेट मेथड जेगुलर निकोल्स मेथड इन 1942 जेगुलर एंड निकोल्स वर द फर्स्ट टू प्रपोज a standard method for tuning feedback controllers after studying numerous processes they arrived at a series of equations that can be used for calculating the gain reset and derivative values for feedback control loops Jigler Nichols developed two methods for controller tuning The first method is referred to as the ultimate method because it requires the determination of the ultimate gain sensitivity and the ultimate period for the control loop the ultimate gain is the maximum allowable value of gain for a controller with only a proportional mode in operation for which the closed loop system shows a stable sine wave response to a disturbance the second method developed by jigler and nichols for tuning control loops was based on data from the process reaction curve for the system under control in this lecture only the ultimate method is going to be discussed request it is hoped that this lecture is going to be useful to you please press like please subscribe process response curve 1 by 4 decay or quarter decay the ultimate method is also referred to as the quarter decay tuning this method requires defining the s subscript u and the p subscript u typical control system responses the top diagram in the figure shown demonstrates an unstable response the center diagram demonstrates a stable response the bottom diagram demonstrates dampened response the top diagram in the figure shown demonstrates an unstable response in this diagram the output variations become larger and larger the center diagram demonstrates a stable response from this diagram we can determine the s subscript u and the p subscript u p subscript u is the ultimate period or time between the peaks of the steady state sine wave in the shown figure s subscript u is 
ultimate sensitivity and is the gain or proportional band that creates a continuous sine wave steady state output as indicated on the center graph in the figure shown this is determined with the reset oblique integral turned off the bottom diagram demonstrates dampened response in this diagram the output become smaller and smaller for any feedback control system if the loop is closed and the control is on automatic one can increase the controller gain during which time the loop will tend to oscillate more and more if the gain is further increased continuous cycling or oscillation in the controller variable will be observable this is the maximum gain at which the system can be operated before it becomes unstable therefore this is the ultimate gain the period of these sustained oscillations is called the ultimate period if the gain is increased further still the system will become unstable once the ultimate gain and ultimate period has been determined the feedback controller can be tuned using the tuning terms oblique equations shown in the subsequent slides tuning terms oblique equations terms are k cos subscript c is equal to gain t subscript i is the integral or reset time integral t subscript d is derivative time p subscript u is ultimate period s subscript u is the ultimate sensitivity the equation for proportional only system is k subscript c equal to 0.5 s subscript u for proportional plus reset action k subscript c is equal to 0.45 s subscript u t subscript i is equal to pu divided by 1.2 minutes per repeat for proportional plus derivative control action k subscript c is equal to 0.6 subscript s subscript u t subscript d is equal to p subscript u divided by 8 for proportional plus reset plus derivative control action k subscript c is equal to 0.6 s subscript u t subscript i is equal to 0.5 p subscript u t subscript d is equal to p subscript u divided by 8 request it is hoped that this lecture is useful to you 
प्लीज़ प्रेस लाइक प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब